has to go up against walls all the time with preconceived notions about whatever it is they're trying to tackle, whether girls should have a voice or girls should be this way, you know. I chose the word accepting because I feel in order to, to lead, you have to accept a person for who they are. I'm doing this because I love myself, I love women, because I, I want people to love each other, I want people to respect each other. You have to start with listening and you have to start with um, being prepared to hear things that, you, that are not always easy to hear. Being challenged by girls because of something that you've done that they don't like. Breaking barriers, breaking stereotypes, um, thinking like breaking generalizations, just trying to get out of those boxes. You have to be a risk taker to do this work. You have to be able to sometimes say, you know what, I am going to let this control issue, I'm just going to have to let this go and see where it leads and see where people take it. And sometimes where it's going may be a pretty scary place. So. I would say all these, all these words um, that we've come up with today, courage, um, listening, accepting, those are all qualities of a good leader and that's what I expect in a leader.